Hi all, I'm Sarah Earle and I'm the program director here at Tutoring Chicago. I just want to take a few minutes of your time to talk about math facts. Hopefully by now all of you have taken the math fact assessment and now we're just going to talk about next steps. So let's start with the assessment. Let's take a look back at the chart. We have very limited time in tutoring, so we want to prioritize teaching strategies that students need the most amount of help on. So look at the rows where students got the least number of equations correct. Once you have identified the strategies you need to teach to your student, you can then pick up a smart math fact activity. All the strategies listed in these charts have a corresponding smart math fact activity. You can find math fact activities in two places. All sites have math fact activity bins. Please ask your site manager if you don't know where the bin is. You can also find math fact activities on our website. If you go to tutoringchicago.org, click on Tutor Resources, and then the Tutor Toolbox. All of our activities are listed in that toolbox. Now, let's dive into what these activities look like. This is what a typical addition and subtraction activity looks like. Hold on, I'm just going to back up for one moment. I want to point out that math facts are about strategies and gaining more number sense. We are beyond the days of just rote memorization. Research has shown that when students memorize math facts, they often do it without number sense and therefore can make many more errors. So at Tutoring Chicago, we want our students to learn more number sense and math fact strategies, and our math fact curriculum reflects that. Okay, now let's get back to the math fact activities. Let's start with the red box. This is an example of a cover sheet, which includes all the materials and directions for each activity. The blue box is the strategy poster. This is located on the back of the cover sheet. This explains the strategy you are teaching your student. Go through it with your student, show them examples, and model your thinking. After you explain the strategy you can, to your student, then you can practice. The green box is an example of a practice sheet. Note you may need glue or scissors to complete the practice sheets. After you fully complete a math fact activity, keep it in your student's folder so you can reference it during future tutoring sessions. Next, this is what a typical multiplication and division activity looks like. The red box is again the cover sheet with all the directions and materials. The blue box is an example of a multiplication practice sheet. It also lists the multiplication strategy up at the top. You will need a pencil and a paper clip to complete this activity. The green box is an example of a division practice sheet. I also want to note that another important strategy for learning multiplication and division is introducing the idea of fact families. It's important for students to realize that numbers like 3, 4, and 12 go together. If they know that 3 times 4 equals 12, then they also should know that 4 times 3 equals 12, and 12 divided by 4 equals 3, and 12 divided by 3 equals 4. You get the idea. Once you have taught the math fact strategy, then you and your student should practice. A lot. At Tutoring Chicago, we have lots of different materials to practice math facts with. All of the materials listed on this page foster hands-on learning. Hands-on learning is an effective teaching tool that aids with mastery. Another material we recommend using are whiteboards. Kids love working with whiteboards. When practicing with whiteboards, it is important to highlight different types of equations as seen in the math fact assessment. Discuss with your student that unlike reading, math does not always work from left to right. It's important to set, a a set aside time in every tutoring session to work on math facts. That's all I have for you today. I hope you found this helpful. As always, ask a Tutoring Chicago staff member if you have any questions. Thank you for everything you do, and good luck with those math facts.